Weekly Checkup, brought to you by Dignity Health Central Coast. Electronic cardiac implantable devices, like a defibrillator or a pacemaker, are typically implanted under the chest muscle, and a wire runs from the device to the heart and vessels. Dr. Ali Savari at St. John's Regional Medical Center explains. After about a year, the heart and vessels make some fibrosis and tissues around these wires in a way that they become part of this body. Therefore, if the electronic cardiac devices need to be removed, special tools and expertise are needed. The most common approach is called the superior approach and it starts from the pocket where the device is. The pocket can be opened, the device can be detached, and a sheath goes over the lead and either mechanically cutting this fibrotic tissue over the lead or in certain other techniques using laser beam. In addition to that, and what we often use at St. John Regional, involves an additional step that is called inferior approach in that from the femoral vein we have equipment that with that we snare the lead from below and we pull the lead from below while we are pulling the lead from above as well and make a nice and a smooth rail that this cutting can be done over the lead without damaging heart and vessels. To learn more, visit DignityHealth.org slash Central Coast. Weekly Checkup brought to you by Dignity Health Central Coast.